This is part two to a video that I made. I will put the name and a link to that video in the video description box. And I think I figured out a way to have both what I would like to see, which is something like this, and the design you're going to see here in a few seconds. For those of you who believe that this design right here won't work for you because somehow the stringers are going to slide forward even though they're nailed and securely fastened to some base framing plates that are securely fastened to the concrete or base framing plates that would be securely fastened to a wood framed floor because either you or the architect think that this is a superior design. I cannot see it. I'm never going to see it and I'm never going to agree to it even though I saw this design on almost every set of building plans I worked with. I never used it. I never used it. My dad never used it. And there's no way I'm ever planning on using it because it just doesn't make sense. And the reasons for that can be found in the other video. For those of you who just want a brief explanation, a lot of it has to do with making this notch here and then fastening the stringers to this plate here. And in some cases I've seen a gap here and I don't like the gaps. The gaps can cause the stringers to break break. And something like this might work fine on a wood framed floor where you can drive more fasteners through the stringers into the wood framed floors or even use framing hardware where on a concrete slab you can see where you're only going to be able to attach it to the base framing plate, not to two base framing plates like you would have seen in the previous example. So what about this design here? Is this something that might work better for you? You're going to get both of the framing plates, which is what I would like to see, plus a couple of notches that, in your mind, might prevent the stairs from sliding forward, even though these notches wouldn't be necessary if the stringers are securely fastened to the base framing plate. So something like this would make me happy and make those of you happy who believe that this notch right here is somehow going to work better than the very first example I provided in the video. And if that one seems like too much work, what about this one here? Install the framing plates like I would like to see them installed and have a notch at the back of the stringer, providing us with another method that might work better than the second example in the video. You're going to be able to use two framing plates that you can use to attach the stringers securely to the foundation and have your notch here to prevent the stairs from sliding forward, to prevent the stringers from sliding forward. If this is actually something you believe will happen, again, even though I've never seen it happen. And if you don't like that idea, what about this one here? Grab a huge piece of lumber and securely anchor it to the foundation. Don't just secure it in the front or in the back. Otherwise, you could end up with the board twisting and forcing one side of the stringer up. And that's probably not going to happen if you have enough base framing anchors to prevent that from happening. So there you have it. And as always, any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible.